The APSA Off-Road Championship is a duel in the South African motorsport crown. Catering for production cars and special vehicles, the championship is made up of eight rounds run in five South African provinces and an event in neighboring Botswana. In this program, we take a look at the action and drama that unfolded through the year in the APSA Off-Road Championship. The opening round of the APSA Off-Road Championship was based in Darling, one of South Africa's best-known hamlets and home to painters, poets and Evie Tabasadno. The Adenko 400 brought with it new faces and new machinery, but the front of the production car field had a very familiar look about it. The Donaldson Nissan Navara crews of reigning drivers champion Duncan Foss and Rolf Pitchford and Hannes Schwabler and co-drivers champion Jean Moore were again at the front of the pack with a Toyota Hilux of Chris Fisser and Jarpi Bardnost in hot pursuit. Among the special vehicles, reigning champions Kali Sulvalt and Sun Quinton were quick out of the starting blocks in the Sulvalt racing bat. Atlas Copco pair Jimmy Zahus and Stefan Kutzia gave their supporters an early boost, with Evan Hutchinson and Achim Bergman giving the Motorite Revo 1 4x4 its maiden run. Also in the mix were former champion Shamir Variawa and Siegfried Rousseau, along with Regent Racing pair Mark Whitehouse and Matthew Carlson, and the tyre rack gym co of Naeem Musaji and Mohamed Mulston. On the final loop, the Donaldson Nissan of Duncan Foss and Rolf Pitchford took control of proceedings with veteran former SA champion Hannes Schwabler into his 33rd year as a Nissan motorsport driver and Jean Moore, his co-driver, in a solid second place. A strong showing saw Chris Fisser and Jarpi Bardnos up into third place in a Toyota Hilux minus its RFS team livery. A puncture late in the race dropped Ivan Tollefsen and Quinn Evans down to fourth in a third Donaldson Nissan Navara with the pair under some late pressure from the factory Castrol Toyota Hilux of Anthony Taylor and Robin Houghton. It was first time out of a production car for Terence Marsh and Peter Grunewald in the Regent Racing Nissan Navara, with Christian Duploy and Henk Janssen van Vieren also making their debut in the Premier SP class. Final results saw Foss Pitchford win ahead of Krobler Moore, with Fisser Bardnost also on the podium. The top five were completed by Tollefsen Evans and the Taylor Houghton Castrol Toyota Hilux, with a good result for Hein Leitergan making his off-road debut, and Chris Birkin in another factory Toyota Hilux. The Class D honours went to father and son combination of Cliff and Louis Weichelt in the N1 4x4 Toyota Hilux D4D. They led home Debot van Breda and Johan de Toy in the Northam Toyota Hilux. There was early success in Class E for 4x4 Mega World pair Dion Fenta and Ian Palmer in a Toyota Hilux. Fenta and Palmer were made to work by Free Staters Lo De Brain and Rian Hreling in the Ruhrkon Ford Ranger, who were happy with second in their production car debut. The final podium placing went to reigning champion Yanni Fisser and Jorks Le Roux in the RFS Toyota Hilux. And when the dust had finally settled, it was a dream start to the year for Duncan Foss and Ralph Pitchford. It was also a dream start for Evan Hutchinson and Achim Bergman in the new Motorite Revo 1 4x4. The former champions gave the Motorite car a win on debut with Naeem Mosaji and Mohamed Mulsen picking up their best ever finish in the tyre rack Jimco. Third went to the ever dependable Nick and Ryan Harper in the Atlas Copco bat. Rounding out the top five were Mike Whitehouse and Matthew Carlson in the Regent Racing Bat and the similar car of Gary Gillingham and Danny Stassen in Atlas Copco Colours. On a glorious Cape summer day, brothers Johan and Etienne Besaidnot made use of local knowledge to get their season off to a flyer with a win in Class P in the Adenko Bat. The Adenko Cup overflowed when Bez Besaidenhout and Son Dion won Class B in another Adenko bat. The pair led home the century racing bat of Simon Beckett and Steve Harris, with the local crew Derek Detoy and Ian Pinar third in the Orange Tree bat, ahead of debutants Keith and Andrew Macanete in the Zarco Light. More champagne, and it was Evan Hutchison and Jim Bergman who celebrated a win first time out in the Motorrad Riva 1 4x4. One of the world's premier surfing venues played host to round two of the APSA series. In Jeffreys Bay, surfing gave way to horsepower at the Eastern Cape 400. There were first appearances for a new turbo diesel factory Ford Ranger and the Atlas Copco Toyota Hilux. 
but it was again Duncan Foss and Rolf Pitchford who set the early pace among the production cars. There were the makings of a good special vehicle scrap between the Century Racing CR2 of Mark Corbett, Rudy Balzar, and the Motorite Riva 1 4x4 of Evan Hutchinson and Achim Bergman. Both cars were running to a 4x4 specification, with the Motorite car winning the Adenko 400 on debut. With Foss and Pitchford temporarily sidelined with a broken brake pipe, the production car running was taken up by Hichu and Jaap de Brain in the Mikuren XL Toyota Hilux and Hannes Hobler and Juan Moore in the Donaldson Nissan Navara. Also in the picture were Hein Latachan and Chris Birkin in the Castor Toyota Hilux, with Kali and Quinton Sewald's back being chased by the RFS Toyota of Chris Fisser and Jaapi Badnost. Will Battershill and Reg Sutton were having a good run in a privately entered bat, and behind them Gary Bertolt and Andre Vermeulen were having an encouraging first outing in the Atlas Copco Toyota Hilux, built by Kenny Varinga and his team. The SP-class entry was being chased by Shamir Variawa and Siegfried Rousseau in the total porter, with Ivar Tolufsen and Quinn Evans, fourth on this year's Dakar Rally, putting together another solid performance in the Donaldson Nissan Navara. <laughs> Locals were enjoying good weather and good racing with close battles spread over the route with KZN pair Don Thompson and Don Blakey muscling their way past Johan Telford and Jaku Swat. The husband and wife team of George and Sharon Barkhausen were also going along steadily in the new AIM Toyota Hilux with a Blomfontein pair chased by Pretoria-based Christian Deploy and Henk Janssen van Vieren in the RFS Toyota Hilux. A remarkable recovery and problems for other fancied runners saw Duncan Foss and Rolf Pitchford fight back to score win number two. There was a good start to Thomas Rundle's Ford career as he and Stavros Yiannakos took second in a petrol model Ford Ranger. Another steady performance put Ivar Tolufsen and Quinn Evans on the podium, while Foss and Pitchford took an early grip on the production car championship. Tollefsen Evans and Fisser Badenhorst kept up their title challenges with encouraging results for Hein Latachan and Chris Birken and the Barkhazens. At the other end of the scale, there were disappointing retirements for Hannes Krobler and Jean Moore, Anthony Taylor and Robin Houghton, and Terence Marsh and Peter Grunewald. There was another Class D win for Cliff and Louis Weichelt ahead of Gebhardt von Breda and Johann de Toy, who ran into a problem or two themselves. Third were Heine Strumpfer and Hendrik van der Linde in the Mikuren XL Toyota Hilux. The 4x4 Mega World Toyota pair of Dion Fenter and Ian Palmer had a little trouble getting past the Ruhrcon Ford Ranger of Lo de Brain and Rian Grelen, who were among the retirements. Victory saw Fenter Palmer take a grip on the Class E Championship, and coming in behind them were Piki Labaskachny and Rikas Erasmus, and the Ford crew of Bapi Rapuluza and Kulele Vakalisa. After a spirited fight back, it was two out of two for the Donaldson Nissan squad and Duncan Foss and Ralph Pitchford. On the special vehicle front, two wins in two starts gave Hutchinson and Bergman a full house of points. Second for Variawa, Rousseau opened their account, while third place for Mike Whitehouse and Matthew Carlson, fourth for Nick and Ryan Harper, and seventh for Musagia Mulston left the three crews locked on 25 points each. The two Silvot racing entries in the hands of Herman and Vichard Silvot and champions Kali and Quinton also scored their first points with the two cars coming in ahead of Nahim Musaji and Mohamed Molson. Former Class B champions Jan and Hendrik Krai won Class P in the Keymax bat to score their first points of the year. Third place behind the KEC bat of impressive rookies Johan van Staden and James Rousseau was enough for Johan and Etienne Besaidno to stay at the top of the championship table. Another set of brothers in David and Gary White in the Ruhrcon bat also scored their first points of the season along with former champions Richard Schilling and Chris Davies in the Ace Co. Two wins in two races in a new car was a feather in the cap of the motorite team.
there can be no success in any sport these days without a professional approach. Regent Racing has entries in the production car and special vehicle categories in the APSA off-road series. Team manager Sharon Marsh plays a vital behind-the-scenes role where she has to display organizational as well as public relations skills in a hugely expensive sport. It is. If I had to show you our balance sheet, I think anyone would be horrified. You know, it depends which level you go at. We, our cars are in excess of 1.3 million rand upwards, um, so th that costs an incredible amount just to run a workshop alone. Um, and then we have caravans, the rig alone, to be able to, um, to bring the vehicles here. Imperial Group help us a lot with that. They sponsor the rig for us and they give us a driver as well because there's also support crew that is critical. You know, we go out on routes, we check times, we phone to the um, drivers when they want to know do they push it, don't they push it. So it's all of those logistics as well that we've got to know at any point in time where they are in the championship points. And our pits, we want to make sure it's as professional as possible, that our guys are well nourished. We do a lot around fit products in terms of dehydration and making sure that they've got the right type of food the right type of supplements as well so that comes into account as well and then the logistics are we put on a big road show so we want to make sure that our sponsors can come and join us on the events at Sun City alone we had 36 rooms to give an idea so we built good relationships with people and so the road show is, only, is about family sponsorship and um, we bring business people on so there's a lot of logistics we always make sure we got food running water kettles mobile toilets so that it's comfortable because um, we want people to come in families and if it's not comfortable then the wives aren't going to enjoy it and so everyone enjoys their day and has a great time so if you were perhaps thinking of jumping into your beat up old bucky and heading for the bush to blow the opposition to the weeds, those home truths from Sharon Marsh just put you straight on a few pointers.